Holy crap, I did not mean to be this late, sorry. <laughs> um, I had an important conversation I had to have, uh, and things seem to have worked out, so that's good. Um, I'm here now, though! <laughs> oh gosh, I inhaled my own spit. <laughs> oh dear, excuse me, I'm dying! <laughs> okay, I'm not dead. Yet. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Hello, everyone. Okay. I think I'm actually going to define what uh, subtraction is today, and why it has the properties that it has, I, I think. I hope. Um... And then we'll move on to playing some Silent Hill. <sighs> My brain is still, like, fried from yesterday. Uh, I got two raids yesterday instead of just one. Uh, my follower count went up from 24 to 29. So I think I got like four to five follows in just one day. Which is a new record. That's pretty cool. Uh, and someone expressed interest in maybe tutoring in the same fashion. I still need to contact them on Twitter. So yeah, a lot... My Yeah, I'm just still kind of fried on all that. That's a lot. For me, that's a lot. <laughs> also, I was like panic researching uh, how to define definition. How to define subtraction. Because I realized I didn't actually know how. I thought I did, and then I realized, wait. Yo, Brandon, what is up? So yeah, let's hop into the lovely little uh, crass, crass room. Yes, let's go there. I'm not going to say anything else. Ho. Oh. Yeah. It, and, it's, and it's going to hurt. And it might take a while for it to not. It's one of those things that you just have to kind of go through. Just know that it's temporary. Um... And that this is just your first experience with it. And with more experience, it'll not hurt as much. And there are people that care about you and, you know, are here for you. That's the big thing. Right. Math. Ooh, and also I forgot. I should probably check the Discord to make sure nobody left a question in there. Okay, good. Also, I don't know if Kat's going to come back, but I saw that they left messages at 3.30, <laughs> which was 10 minutes ago. Oh, no. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> um, if you do come back, hopefully you will have uh, figured out your uh, unit conversion problem with power. We'll see. Um, yeah. I don't even know where to start. Today's going to be a little more airheady than normal. But, I mean, that's fine, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. So. 
to define subtraction, we need to just review very quickly. Natural numbers can be created from a set whose elements are sets. That there is a special element in the set where our s function never ever points to. And that if we have an element that's in our set, then s of n will also be in that set. Yada yada, we said that this function made a union operation with a set containing that thing. And we later defined addition as taking elements from n, and then pointing you to another element in n. And there were a couple axioms or definitions that came with addition. So this was another one, this b equals s of a plus b. And again, if this was written in total addition notation, it would be this. a plus b plus 1 is the same as a plus b plus 1. So like for plus 7 is the same as 5 plus 6. Wait, nope, that's not what it was saying. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was saying, like, 4 plus 6 plus 1 equals the same as 4 plus 6 plus 1. So that's what that identity says, and this identity just says if you add by zero, nothing happens. Okay. Now, some extra consequences from just these pano axioms, and then our definition of addition, are these. If you have zero and you add by 1, you would have 0 plus s of 0. So these two identities, I numbered 1 and 2, I'll number this identity as identity 0. So going from here to here is just using identity 0. And then going from to these to this next step is using identity two equals s of zero. Going from here to here is using identity one equals one. That again is using identity zero. And then equals 1 plus 0 is identity 1. So right here, we've essentially proven that 0 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 0. So maybe 0 plus some number equals that number plus zero. So now, let's test to see that if it's actually true. Now we're going to have to use the method of induction for this. So, assume 
that 0 plus a equals, well, at least just a. Because by identity 1, a plus 0 and a are the same thing. The induction step is, okay, use this thing that you assume to prove that the number that comes after a also works. So a's successor should also be able to swap places with 0. So here, we end up with the successor of 0 plus a. That's using identity 2. And then in this step, we're using our assumption so that we can swap the 0 and the a. So yeah, I'll just write plus 0 there. And then going into this step, see, we have identity 1 being used here, and then again by using identity 1 without doing anything except putting a plus 0 at the very end. That's also using identity 1. And right there, we have successfully swapped 0 and a number. So now we know that 0 plus any number is also that number. So we can call this one identity 3. Another important thing, let's see. is that we can add numbers together, like more than just two numbers together. You don't have to add just a number and a number. You could add like three numbers together. But the way that we've defined addition is that it takes in two numbers. And it does something, and then it replaces whatever you added together so that it can take those in and then add them. So it doesn't take in three numbers at once. It eats two, spits out a result, and then eats another two, etc., etc. So if we have a number, well, if we have three numbers being added together, Does it matter if our addition function eats the b and the c first, or the a and the b first? Can we pick and choose which numbers addition works on first? Does it have to be the first two? Can it be the back two? Well, we need to prove that. So the first thing that you do is you prove that since this is the back number that we're concerned about, we first prove the case for c is 0, that yes, it doesn't matter if you add the back two numbers or the front two numbers. So you go a plus b plus 0 is, and then by using identity 1, we get a plus b, so that's identity 1 right there. And this is now something that addition is chewing on, so it is now just one number. It just has a name of a plus b. And then again, by identity 1, we can then add 0 to somebody. And so we could choose 
to add the back numbers first for a plus b plus zero, or we could choose the front numbers first. They'll get us the exact same result. So for the base case where this third number is zero, we're fine. But what about if c equals one? So for c equals one, we'll go a plus b plus one. Now, b plus one from our identity zero is just the definition of our successor function in addition notation. And then from here, we can say that this is the s of a plus b from using identity two. Uh, and this again is like one thing that just happens to have a name that says a plus b. And the successor just means add one to something. So we have an a plus b being added plus one from identity zero. And if you look, it shows that if you add the back numbers together or the front numbers together, when that third number is a one, it doesn't matter which pair you add together first. The front pair or the back pair doesn't matter. Now, it, with addition, we're using natural numbers, which are the numbers from zero to infinity. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yada, 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 adding 1 to each successive number forever and ever. We want to be able to show that for any number c, when we're adding three numbers together, we can add the first pair or the second pair and still get the same thing. But we don't want to have to actually plug in c equals 2, c equals 3, c equals 4, c equals 5, yada yada yada, because that will take a literal infinite amount of time. So, we use the method of induction again. We assume that for some number c, that you really can swap which pair of numbers you add first. You know, you keep C generic. So C could equal 0, 1, 2, yada, yada, yada. We're just keeping it generic. It's just somewhere in your list of natural numbers. C has a successor, though. It has the number that comes right after it, which is just C plus 1. So we pick an arbitrary position for our case, and then we say, well, if we assume that our statement, oh, it doesn't matter what order uh, which pair you add first is true for the C case, then it, if that means that the case after that is also true, then it works for any number. So it's like if you prove that it works for 2, well, if you assume that this statement works for 2, and then you found that because you said it works for 2, it works for 3, then you know that it works for all numbers. That's essentially what this is saying. So let's see if it works for the number that comes after c. So we have a plus b plus the successor of c, which is c plus 1. This is a plus, and then we're using identity 2. So b plus c. So this is identity 2. This is now one quantity, since it's being eaten by s. So it's really identity 2 again. So it's the successor 
of A plus the chunk B plus C. Now, if you use our assumption step, whoops. So this is identity two again to get to here. You can decide to add the A and the B first. So we assumed that this is the same as this. And we want to see what it implies if we assume that was the case. And then we can use identity 2 again. We get the quantity A plus B plus the successor of C. So this is identity 2 again. And if you look, we started with doing A and then adding B with the successor of C first. In this case, we're adding A and B first and then adding the successor of C. So we have shown that it doesn't matter which pair of numbers you add together for even generic cases. So we have now proven that yes, A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C. And so we'll call this one identity four. This is called association, by the way. Now that we know association, then I just minimized a window that I didn't want to. Ha ha! Where are you? There you are. Now that we have proven association for addition on the natural numbers, we can prove commutivity. Meaning it doesn't matter what order you add numbers in. Okay. So let's see here. We don't know if we can swap the order of an addition problem. We showed that we can do this which led up to identity 3. where 0 plus a number it was the same as a number plus 0. But that's kind of where we were stuck with. It's where we left off. What about for numbers that are 1 or bigger? Can we add, well, if I change 0 into a 1, can I add it by some number and then swap that order? Well, we know that it works for 0, and we shouldn't have to be able, we shouldn't have to explain that it also works if the other number is a 1 namely because you can't tell the difference between these ones so then there's not really a 
flipping them across the plus sign. You can only move things around if you can tell the difference between them. So, we need to check and see if we can swap things around for 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 4, yada yada. So this is another induction step. So, we have our natural numbers. We already know that 0 is fine, 1 is fine. But like 2, 3, 4... And above, those are all numbers that we don't yet know. So we'll just use some number that's in the natural numbers. And we'll assume that it works for this dude. And then we'll see if it works for the dude that comes right after it. So we're going to have 1 plus some number and we're going to assume that we can swap the order of this addition problem. So we're just going to let it be the case. Then we're going to see if we can swap these things. So swap 1 with the number that comes after C. If we can swap it, using our assumption that 1 and C and C and 1 can be swapped, then we know that it works for all cases. So we go 1 plus... C plus 1 can also be written as S of C. And I like writing it as S of C because it goes back to identity 2 that we had talked about. So 1 plus C, this is identity 2. And then this is where we use our assumption step where we swap the order of 1 and C. You're 24 hours into a hosting session of Barotrauma campaign. Dang. Oh, dang. Did you at least get six consecutive hours? Because if so, then it's not too bad. Okay, that's good. Because if it wasn't that, then that would be kind of miserable. <laughs> huh. Okay. Now, C plus 1 is just the, def the, the definition of what the successor function does. So it's the successor of the successor of C. So this is using def well, yeah, definition zero. And so then we can have this guy just be added by one, which is what this says. So we have S of C added by one. And bada bing, if you look at that, we were successfully able to swap one and some number, assuming that we could for the number before. So now we could call this thing axiom or definition five. That you can swap numbers with one. Well, we're not going to call it definition 5, because it's like a starter case to a more complicated definition. So we've proven that you can take 1 and swap it with any number in an addition problem, as long as they're natural numbers. But what if we had two numbers that were being added together that were just very generic? Can we swap them? Wow, I don't know why I wrote this one incorrectly, but I did. So, 
C plus A. There we go. So we're just going to assume that we can do this. And then the number that we're seeing if it's okay to do this with will take its neighbor, its successor, and then see if it still works. Ah, I realized my goof. This number was the one that we added one to, so we're going to do that again. And I don't know why I decided to be silly. So then we can use identity 2 right there. And then we can use our assumption step to swap A and C. So C and A. Uh... Uh, I really, sh I think I actually should say that this is definition five. Now I can use definition two again to give me this. Then I'm going to use definition 0 to get me to this step. So this is the same as a plus 1. Swapping a number and the number 1 in an addition problem, we just barely proved. So this would be the same as c plus 1 plus a. A formula to solve math problem and could remember it to solve other questions and Oh what's up cat? Nice What was the problem like is this still the uh, power problem or is this something new? Okay, so then here this is definition five, which we proved recently. And then I'm going to just swap which pair of numbers I'm going to add first, which we proved up here with association. So that's definition four. Still doing the same question, but with other numbers. Ah, okay. But like you're able to see in general how to do it. And that's awesome. That's very good. Okay, so this is because of definition four that we could do that. And then using definition 0, c plus 1 is the same as the successor of c plus a. So that's definition 0. But our teacher accidentally destroyed CNC machine and went home. And we all got to go home early. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's not good. Uh, Why do I have a notification in Discord? What's going on? Oh, it's in Path of Diablo 2's Discord. Got it. Okay. C and C, &C machines are not cheap, right? That, oh dear, that's not good. Okay. And so right there, we have successfully swapped two numbers that are bigger than 0 or 1 in an addition problem. So this is now our axiom, or well, definition 6. This is commutivity.
there is one more thing that I'm forgetting. And it's essentially the transitive property with equality. Uh, so if I say A equals B and B equals C, that implies that A is also C. So they have a linking thing. So you can just say that these guys are the same thing. Uh, but this is supposed to be a link with addition. So it's like, if I have numbers, I don't know, x plus y, and they equal something, uh, I don't know, h plus k, and h plus k equals l plus m, then x plus y equals l plus m. But there's like a formal way to prove that, and this set looks really silly when I write it. Oh, just in this little example, when I'm using letters, they just mean numbers that you can count on your fingers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When they don't mean the counting numbers or the natural numbers, I'll let you know. Hmm. I'm surprised that I forgot. Okay, the transitive property of addition. Come on. Tiv property of addition. Is that even a thing? Unitive, we've proven. Associate if we've done. Hmm. Yeah, there's no transitive property of addition because it just is for equality. So it already takes care of that. Okay. All right. So we're good there. So we've proven the associated property of addition and the commutative property of addition. So it doesn't matter what pair of numbers you add together first in an addition problem, and it doesn't matter what order you write down your addition problem numbers. As long as they are the counting numbers, the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, forever, ever, and ever. Okay. So that's addition. And we needed to know addition so that we could talk about Subtraction. Don't say. So. Before we talk about subtraction, we have to talk about the notion of the size of numbers. About greater than 
and less than. So if I write down three and then this arrowhead pointer to the brave, which of I know that's a joke, but. You know, they're they're essentially a fascist organization. They're not like European fascist where it's centered around Christianity, but like it's founded on fundamentalist Islam. And it has zero tolerance for anyone else and also all other ethnicities and blah blah blah. So yeah. Like not even as a joke. I preferred if that wasn't there. Uh, because the American, because our, because the American government does evil things once in a while. Especially back in the 80s. We made a lot of really, really, really bad decisions then. Which kind of led to a lot of things backfiring in our face. Like the formation of Al Qaeda in 9 11. What Al Qaeda did, like they're responsible for, and that's awful. The US also kind of set the stage for this to happen to itself. It's like hitting a tether ball and not moving out of the way when it comes swinging back. So you get smacked in the face. But yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Also, I've always wondered why why in your name is it the U before the E? Cause like for the mathematician von Neumann? I'm pretty sure the N the E came before the U in his name. So like What's the deal? What's the deal with vowels in Germanic languages like that? Because I think von Neumann might not have been German. He might have been, a, you know, Dutch. But still, pretty similar languages. So, like, what gives? What's going on? Why is it that way? I don't know. Language is silly. Ah, uh, okay, so whenever you go U-E, that's saying that. Okay. How do you pronounce that, then? Like, is it supposed to go U-E, or is it supposed to go more like Oi? So, like, oi as in toy. Ah. Well, what's the nearest approximation? <laughs> yeah, but, like, what would you cringe at least? People going ooey or people going oi? You know, what American would you make fun of less when they're trying to pronounce that letter? Or... So... So, ooh, e. So, ooh... Yeah. 
zoo i. So it'd be Shiba Zuiker. Zuikter. Shiba Zuikter. Zuik. Ah. Okay, and then the I here. Is that a long... Well, in English, we call it a long I, but really it's an E. So is it Shiba? Or is it Shiba? E motion with your tongue. So, so try to say ooh, but make an ooh. Long eye like the dog. Oh yeah, Shiba Inu. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's cool that, like, both of you speak Germanic languages so I can actually ask you questions. I don't know if Shiba and Kat you guys have met. Kat is... speaks Dutch. Shiba, I'm pretty sure, is Floy Floy, and he speaks German. But he also knows some other languages that I don't know. And obviously both of you have a pretty good understanding of English. But hey, you got a little uh, impromptu grammar lesson there. Anybody or everybody. Okay, so let me actually get to defining subtraction. First, we have to describe the sense of greater than or less than. So if I want to make a definition for greater than, I have to say A is greater than B if there is some number C where B plus C equals A. A, B, and C are natural numbers. Meaning the numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. So to be greater than somebody means that there is another number that has to add to something to become you. Less than is just reading this in reverse. So when you define greater than, you've also essentially defined less than. Now, this is where the definition of subtraction comes in. But it looks kind of weird. You say that there is some function that has an ordered pair, so like this, and that the only way that this could equal the function with a different ordered pair is if... Wait, the only reason why this would ever be true is if a plus d equals b plus c. So if we replace the letters with actual numbers, so if I said d of o, 4 and uh, let's make it something else. Let's say 7 and 3. There we go, yeah. D of 7 and 3. The only way that this would equal... Uh, oh, and I hope I, I'm doing this right. Oh, I hope so. Uh...
So like 5 and 1. And I did do it incorrectly. Oh, poopy. <laughs> you sell yourself too short. Okay. So, I think I wrote this now correctly. Because essentially what this is, is A minus D equals B minus C. I've defined this capital D is the name of a function. So it's a name of a mathematical machine where you give it inputs and it gives you outputs. So like, a function could be, I don't know, capital K of x comma y, where it equals x squared plus y squared. That's essentially function notation, and this is also the equation for a circle. So... When I write something with that has a letter and then parentheses next to it, and there's like a comma separating these letters, that means function notation. So you got a math machine that takes inputs and give you and gives you outputs. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. go away. Delete. So we have defined this machine, capital D, and a key property about this machine is that if it takes in two inputs, and it just so happens to be the same as when you put two different inputs inside, then there has to be this relationship between the inputs for this to actually happen. So using numbers instead of letters would look like this. That would be 7 uh, plus 1 equals 5 plus 3. So our A is here. Our D, our lowercase d, is right there. Our B is right there. And our C is right here. So we have this D function, and the only way that this is true is if your inputs like this and this form an equation like this. That's the only way that this could be true. Now, I haven't necessarily said what D of certain inputs actually equals. I just said that if it ever does spit something out, the only way that two D functions could eat two different things and give you the same result is if their inputs made an equation like this.
So it's like a machine that you don't really know what it spits out, but you know that there's a special relationship with the things that it eats. Okay. Now then. I'm going to write down what this function means with notation that makes a little bit more sense than what we're normally used to. Well, that looks like what we're used to. Our D function is this. So then if we put in another set of inputs, that would give us this. Our assumption, our implication, the thing that we have to assert is true, so that this function does what we want it to do, says that if these two things give us the same output, then a plus c has to equal yep, b plus d. Well, this is the same as this. This is the same as this. So if I write it out with notation that looks a little bit more familiar, my sentence here becomes a minus d equals b minus C. Now, I just by definition said that this has to be the case. This is like saying that getting four aces is a higher hand in poker than getting four tens. It's just a rule that you assert is the case. These little definitions are like saying that a king is more than a queen, or something like that. Or that an ace is the highest card. I'm just saying that one thing has another name. Look at this implication right here. That's essentially saying that this is true only if this is true. Hey plus c equals b plus d. Now, from basic algebra, if you look at this statement and you realize that, yes, I am talking about subtraction, and that this really is an equation, we could add both sides by c and also add both sides by d, the d's on the left would subtract out, the c's on the right would subtract out, 
we would get a plus c equals, because I would just drop down, b plus d. So from what we already know about algebra, this is a well-duh statement. Of course a minus d equals b minus c means a plus c equals b plus d. Of course it does. But we're trying to define what subtraction is from very, very basic things that don't necessarily automatically mean this is math. So we're using, like, set theory ideas. So we are asserting a certain thing. Ouch. Now, now that we have created this D function, which essentially is the subtraction symbol, we can look back at our definition of greater than. So A would be bigger than B, or at least the same size, if there is a C that adds to B and becomes A. So you have this number line 0, 1, 2, yada, yada, yada. You have some C number. You have some B number. And then later on, you have some A number. To get from B to A, you have to move C steps. That's what addition means. If you look, though, from our definitions of addition, one of our first definitions was that somebody plus zero equals just that somebody. So in our definition of greater than, we could write this, a plus zero. And now we have stuff that we could plug into our difference definition. Now, I probably should have used the letters A, B, and C for this greater than example. So let's use other letters just to make things a little easier on our eyeballs. So we'll say, I don't know, Z is bigger than X if X plus some Y equals Z. And so then we use an add identity. When you add by zero, nothing happens. So this is the same as that. If you take a look, this would be our A, this would be the C, this would be the B, this would be the little D, where we said the D function of these inputs can only equal the D function of these other inputs. if a plus c equaled b plus d. So from here, I could make a d function statement. So for this, this would mean that the d of x and 0 
equals the D of Z and Y. And if I actually use the normal subtraction symbol, I would have x minus 0 equals z minus y. Now, there's another thing that I actually forgot to define. We had a big important definition right here, but there's another one that I need to add. Well, there are two more that I need to add to fully define subtraction. If I have this kind of difference, so somebody and zero, which we can write like this, that is just that first number. And our next really important definition is that the difference between two numbers oh no oh A man drawing a chicken cage. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> okay, let me finish up this thing real quick, and then we'll do that. So we have this is the same as this. So what this is saying is that A minus B is the same as the successor of A minus the successor of B. Using numbers that we already know, it would be like saying 5 minus 2 is the same as 6 minus 3. They both give you the same number. So we have three definitions for subtraction. No, I, I I got what you meant. Holy crap, hold on. <coughs> Ouch. Excuse me. Okay. Now, from here, let me say this real fast. From our definition of bigger than, where z is bigger than x means that there has to be some y that adds to x to give us z, Since we know that x minus 0, by definition, is just x, then we have z minus y is x. Okay, now, a guy building a chicken coop, chicken cage. Okay, so a chicken coop. Uh, I'll make it brown. No, brown. There we go. And it's on some stilts. Uh,
and it has a roof. Ah, uh, okay. So, there, whoops, that's not what I want. I want a rectangle. There we go. So we have a door, and our door has a ramp. So I'll, I don't know, I'll make the ramp in red, I guess. Like that. Like that. And then, like that. So we have our chicken coop. <laughs> All right, and we have a dude. Not red though. Uh, I guess we'll have him wearing a like a a blue shirt or whatever. So you got a dude. And let's say nope. He is Uh, that kind of sucks that I can't angle things. I can use this, though. So, like... Here's, like, the lower part of his arm. Give it a little bit of a bend. And then... Oh yeah, no, I definitely use the draw pad uh, with a stylus, absolutely. I am not even remotely good at art. Okay, so I want it to come to his elbow. So there's that. And then his forearm, which isn't going to be that long, but whatever. So then, whittle this down. And he's... Well, his hands wouldn't be blue. So I don't know, I'll make him a pink fella. So he has a hand, and let's say he's holding like a... some sort of tool. So... maybe like a hammer. Uh, hammers are, whoop, like light gray. Why? More like a mallet. Here we go. So... Hammers kind of look like they have a circle on one end. Kind of. And then almost like a triangle on the back for the spike or whatever. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> I essentially work from home. Okay, and then... I guess I'll just make his legs rectangles. Uh, actually, I can't, because I can't make them as angles. Uh... So... One of his, one of his legs is like... This, for some reason, I don't know why. Uh... So maybe it's, like, behind him. Okay, like that. And I guess he has black pants, so... Okay. And then like that and like that. He needs shoes. Uh so maybe like uh Yeah, we'll give him purple sneakers for no reason. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> okay, and I kind of made him a little too chunky. Okay. And so then from, like, here... Put like a connection there. Maybe bow it out. Oh. Wow, no, not like that. Oh well, okay, he's fine. And then give him like a a belt. So I don't know, like this. He needs a head. Dang it. No. So let's give him a head. He's I guess looking down. Uh, probably need to give him some hair. Like the proportions of, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay, so that's his hair. Uh, 
Uh, and we need a, a chicken, so a no, that's a straight line. I don't want that. So, uh, buck buck. Buck buck with a buck. Mm. No. Come on. Head's a little too big. Crap. And it's not letting me move it. Okay, and with little chicken legs. So... And it has a little chicken tail. So... That... Connecting it... Bow it out a little bit. Okay. Chicken needs a beak. And then a little bit of a gobbler thingy. And some little toes. Maybe some, like, wings. Yeah, there we go. Some eyeballs. Oh, no. Okay, give this guy a nose. some eyeballs. Uh. Wow. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so then do this. Hair. Oh man, he looks like a monk. Um a little bit better. Uh, he has an ear. Uh, crap, and that's the lightest pink that I can go. Crap. Alright, well, boom. Ugh. Okay, and then we'll say his shirt is a lighter blue. No. Ah, I found the opening. Okay. All right, the opening is like right there. Okay, and then color this in. 
Uh, I guess I'll make his pants black. And his belt. Uh, same color as his pants. His shoes. Fuck. And then the coop itself. Uh... Let's give it some, like, lines to make it look like you have wood planks, I guess. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't want that. Oh, and I didn't want to destroy that either. Uh, some lighter brown. Where the... Actually, no, you can't see the hammer through his hand. No. Okay, there and there. There and there. Uh. Okay. No. Whatever. And coloring in his hands. Boom. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Man. And building. Chicken coop or cat. No, no, that signature is not good. So All right. One hot and ready uh crop it. I'll save as ah. Okay, I will post this on the Discord. <laughs> Open. All right, so Kat, um, the Discord link actually works now, so you should be able to get in. Um, if you go to the channel Mom's Fridge, uh, your pixel will be there. <laughs> oh, boy. And I'll also make sure to put a tweet of it up, too. Um, oh, that's special.
Okay. Um, I think I'm going to look up more about how to do all the proofs for uh, subtraction. We have to find what it is, like what the difference function is, uh, combining it to all the work that we did before on showing what numbers are and then how you add them together. So then I'll continue that tomorrow. Uh, for right now, I think it's time to move into uh, scaring everyone half to death. So give me a minute. I need to use the restroom. But when I come back, we shall uh, play ourselves some Silent Hill 2. So give me a sec. I'll be right back. I promise. Pinky promise.
Hello. I am back. Uh. Oh! Hey, look at that. It got everything all captured, too. That's cool. I like that. Uh, that might be a, still a little loud. Okay, let me turn the volume down. Just a bit more. Okay. That's probably not, like, eardrum shattering anymore. <sighs> I don't even remember where we are. Oh, I think we got through the prison section. And then all the random corridors filled with ankle-deep water. So, let's keep going. Hey, what's up, EA? You came in just in time. Uh, load. Ow. Yeah, that's still loud. Oh my. One more. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, something, okay, something bad happened where, like... All my sound got... Something happened to my sound settings, so I have to fix things now. Uh... Crap. So everything's gonna be a little loud. <laughs> but hopefully not like e okay no it is ear splittingly loud that's not good uh what the heck is going to my headphones then oh that's not good Okay. For that is bizarre. Uh What about now? Is it Like it you should be able to hear it. It just shouldn't be like extremely loud like overpowering my voice. For some reason, all the settings that I had are busted, and I don't know why. Okay. Wait, so you don't hear the game at all? Like, you can't even hear James's footsteps? Did you not even hear a shot? What the l <sighs> uh -huh. All right, something definitely bugged, and this is... This is not fun. Uh... What in God's name happened? Let's go to sound settings. Okay, so... Voice meter Vio. That was what I want. Let's 
meter. There we go. Can you hear something now? Your trade fell through. Uh, then I had to pay 1200 for brakes and tears. Okay, so it works now. Okay. I have no idea why it was misbehaving. Alright. Okay. It should be better now. Like... Yeah. I did... I, I lowered it down just a tad. I'll lower it a little bit more. Is this okay? Okay. Oh. Because, like, something happened to my computer, a, like, a day or so ago, where all the audio settings just bugged out, and I have no idea why. Huh. But at least they're fixed now! Daddy, don't. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, and I don't like this. I remembered this fight. This is so bad. And... Actually... Yes. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want, then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're yeah. up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Ugh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife, Mary, was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Oh, and it's fleshy everywhere. Oh, this is the worst. This is so awful. Uh, well, I mean, I'd be pretty messed up in the head, too, if my father and brother sexually abused me. Like, that's essentially what happened to her.
like, she went through massive amounts of the worst kind of abuse. Which makes this encounter horrifying. And I don't want to be in this room anymore. Oh, and now there's another door. Okay. Also, I didn't know the rifle was that strong. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to hit that button. Okay, put the pistol back on. Eh, top it off just because I'm paranoid. Um. Oh, okay, and now what little surprises do we have waiting around all these corners? Ah, crap. Oh, I hope this doesn't, like, teleport me places. Wait, hold on. Oh, I seriously walked by a door? I don't remember walking by a door! Oh, well, there it is. Uh, okay, I remember this puzzle. So there's, an, there's another room, I think, that has the solution to the puzzle. Its face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of bodily injury. Justice and revenge have been uh, served. Okay, so diagram time! Lisa needs braces, diagram time! Okay. Ouch. Come on, Pen, there we go. Now you work. Good. So. Bodily injury. Bodily injury man. You. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. So, kidnapping. Being hung for kidnapping, that's... Kind of harsh. This man was hung for the crime of murder. Right. So you committed murder. Also, the door is right here. Alright, what about you? What did you do? Crime of counterfeiting. Okay. And what about you? What did you do? If I can get in front of him. Hello? Hung for the crime of swindling. Okay. Swindling. And what did you do? Hung for the crime of embezzlement. Okay. Okay. So, I got this room. Ah, <sighs> very good. Okay, and it's also attached to the map, so that's nice. Um, let's just draw a quick little map, just to make sure that I can get back here. Okay, and then we have this thing. Okay. 
a door here and a door there. And we have a door. Oh. A door here. And this is the hanged people. Okay. Oh, nope, that's just channeling fence that I can't. Oh, okay. So now we have the mirror room. Got it. Alright, so then we have a poem. I do not wish to die, but tomorrow I will climb the 13 steps. Please, someone answer me. Why must I... Uh, why must I die come the morning? The man imprisoned beside me believed me. Because they're all insane, that's why, he said. Of course I know his opinion will change nothing. Now you know why I struck out at them, he muttered. The man who was executed yesterday, the one who had said his job was to sell dreams, said that was not true. Okay, so it was a guy that struck out violently, so next to me was a guy who did the bodily injury. And the man who was executed yesterday... He sold dreams, which I believe is either swindling or counterfeit counterfeiting. So, and he said that was not true. But the man who is to be executed the day after tomorrow for stealing children shouted back that it was true. So, true, not true, true. Day after tomorrow. Kidnapping, definitely. The man who was hung today did not answer. They'll kill me either way, he said. He was caught embezzling public money, so he hasn't any hope for mercy. So today, the guy that hangs today is the embezzler. The man who was always quietly smiling to himself said, I am happy, for I will soon be with her. So we have four people listed, and we have a fifth person, fifth person listed. So Mr. Smiley will soon be with her. Which sounds kind of like James. I do not wish to die. I long only to return home. But I know it is not to be. Though I have done nothing, this crime has been thrust upon me. Okay, so the person who sold dreams is definitely the well is definitely the swindler, I think. Actually, no. We have swindling counterfeiting that are left unclaimed. Uh, also murder. Someone save me. This is not judgment. They are bloodthirsty and I am their sacrificial lamb. Is there anything else? Notice. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope, and your reward will be returned to you 
in a shape most wondrous wondrously strange. So probably the smiley guy committed murder. Because if you die and then you go see somebody, that means they're also dead. So maybe he killed somebody and then was like, oh shoot, I regret that. Maybe. So quickly look over this poem again. I do not wish to die, but tomorrow I will climb the 13 steps. Please someone answer me. Why must I die come the morning? And President beside me believed me, because they're all insane. That's why he said, of course, I know his opinion will change nothing. Now you know why I now you know why I struck out at them. The man who was executed yesterday, the one who had said his job was to sell dreams, said that was not true. So he's not a counterfeiter. His job was to sell things, just things that were you know, faulty or whatever. So that's definitely the swindler. So he admits that he swindled, but the man who is to be executed the day after tomorrow for stealing children shouted back that it was true. The man who was hung today did not answer. They'll kill me either way. He was caught embez- Ah, so we got the embezzler. Of course we had the embezzler. The man who is always quietly smiling to himself, uh, I'm happy for I will soon be with her. Okay, so I'm going to say counterfeiting is the crime that was not committed. So that's this noose. Yes. Okay. Um... It looks like nothing horrible happened. So, let's go back out here. Alright, that door is still there. And let's look in here and see what happened. Oh, hopefully this will be something good. The key of the persecutor. Okay. So, counterfeiting was a crime that had never been committed. That was covering the corpse's faces lying here. Okay, we solved that puzzle. Nice. Uh... Okay, did I go through the right door? I did! Uh Awesome. Is that a lock? It is! And we got the key of the persecuted. That's probably going to open this little lock. Huh? Because it's handcuffs. You can't turn the handle unless first you remove the handcuffs. So... Yeah, the persecuted. And now we can crank the wheel. Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh, well. Let's go down. I don't like the silence at all. Okay, where am I? Alright, so got a locked door here. Okay. 
So now I can start a new section of maps. So I came in here. There's a locked door here. And then a door over here. Now it lives up to the name silent. Yes, exactly. This game is so good at using, like, silence. It's nuts. Okay. What the? Maria? And now she's dead Maria? again. Maria? Maria, no. What happened to you? Why? Why? So that door took it to, to Maria's corpse. Corpse. Uh. Please let me look forward. Up, oh, and this door is open. What are you looking at? Oh. Nah. I can see the bullets, though. Shotgun shells. What else is here? Is that it? Alright. Oh. No. There's something else. Ah! More bullets. Okay, I got it. And then empty graves. That's comforting. Ah, and there's more bullets right there. Okay. And there's a, another healing item over here. Oh yeah, no, I saw. Scraped on the tombstone. Me, James Sutherland. Nice. What's this? Angelo Roscoe. Eddie Dombrowski. So, all the people that are currently alive in the town, they have graves already dug for them. Walter Sullivan, okay, he's the guy that committed murder in the town. What about here? Whoops. Oh, it's scratched up. Can't read the tombstone. What about right here? Miriam K. So 
Spoilers! Well, they're not dead yet. Okay, so I can't read that tombstone. Um, what about this one? The felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Okay, so I can't read that. Can I read this one? Nope. Alright, so we'll save. And I guess we'll walk into the grave named after us. Is there fog in here? Yeah. So I guess it... No, it's... Mo... What is that? Okay, I don't like it. Oh. Oh. Why is it so... Dude, spoilers! Stop it! <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, because it's where Eddie is. Gotcha. Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit! You make me sick! Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin! You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you! Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty, it's all the same once you're dead! And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him! Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too! You're just like him, James! Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Yes. Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! How did he miss? Oh! Okay, whoop! Alright, big man. I have more rifle bullets than... <clears throat> God, so. Okay, I can't tell if that really hurt or not. Just for you. I shot him just for you, man. Okay. I guess I can't look at the dudes he killed. Shotgun. Shotgun shells. Yeah, rifle bullets. That's how a real person fights. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life? That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. 
finally died, all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! That was anticlimactic. Eddie? <laughs> Eddie? Don't Eddie him? You shot him with a rifle! I killed a... a human being. <laughs> He's already blonde. It's true. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Yep, take a look at the dude you murdered. You crazy dude. Why am I looking down? What is there? He's not looking down anymore. Hmm. But when I let go of the camera button, I just walk. It makes me kind of wonder if, like, the monsters that Eddie was seeing were just normal people, but they were, like, constantly bullying him. And I feel fairly convinced that the only reason that I'm looking in a certain direction is because that's where Eddie's corpse is. But I can't interact with the corpse. I don't think there's anything stuck in these, uh, uh, cow carcasses. But I guess I'll look around just to make sure. Okay. Anything? No. Farewell, Eddie. We're back at the lake. Warning, keep off what? Okay. 
Yes. It's time to row. Okay, why am I not pointed at the light? Like, I could clearly see a light, but now I can't. something because the camera angle kind of changed yeah just keep <laughs> are you gonna tell me that you can also speak whale okay, so yes he is rowing to go forward okay <laughs> Do I have a map? Yep, but with no... Like, indicator of where I am. Cool. Yeah, I could. Okay. So, if I push once, what does he do? Okay. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Aha! Here we are. This actually makes me wish I was out on a boat rowing. That's really calming. Alright, let's point a little bit more towards the light. There we go.
and hits you. <laughs> Steven Seagal's on the boat. They can't go any slower than uh, 40 knots, otherwise the boat will explode. Okay, we're getting closer because the light's getting higher. Awesome. Hey, we made it. I just realized James has really nice boots. This place it hasn't changed at all in three years. Feel accomplished after rowing. Yes. Fountain. Oh, there's something. Oh, is that a music box? It's a little mermaid mu music box. Okay. Wait, hold on. There's a fountain in the shape of a bird. No water is coming out right now. Okay. Hmm. So there's a gate. We might have to go through it. Another fountain with a crane. But there's nothing there. Okay. Proud head attention. Yeah. Okay. And. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm not missing anything. Also, I don't think it's going to let me get in, like, so easily. Never mind, I'm wrong. Um, let's go back. So I want to make sure that that gate doesn't open. And if it does, I'll be able to get whatever goodies are behind it. Oh, never mind. It's just a set piece. All right. We're good. Yes. And some map. Awesome, and it says that 312 waiting for you. What's this? Room 312. That's where the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary. Are you there? Or maybe. Got the hotel map. Alright. This place isn't menacing as hell. Toluca. Okay. My guess is that the majority of these doors are locked. But I want to check them anyway. Cafe Toluca, we can't get into. I mean, we could probably get into. Wait, no. Cafe Toluca is the door that I just tried. Never mind. Shut up. Oh, that's a helpful camera angle. Thank you. So 
so it's like a dining area. Keys. Oh, I got the fish key. Okay. And is there anything else? Stay at the Shining Hotel, thought too. <laughs> Ah, so it is Laura. You? Yes? yes? You did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? Yes, please. But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's yes. Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Oh. Uh-oh. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now. In a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura? About James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. But please give him a chance. It's true, he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like you're my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! Apparently so, since they both had uh, the same nurse. But Laura got better. Also, that's a dog, I think. A drawing done by Laura. A cat? Oh yeah, no, that is a cat. That is correct. Okay. There's the piano here. Oh, hey. Ho, oh, where are you? Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's right, you deflate. There's another one. Come here, buddy. I wasn't even holding the trigger button. Maybe I was. Fire hose extinguisher. <laughs> I could clear the savanna after every meal. Okay, so there's an elevator. Some bathrooms. 
elevator is... Oh, it's right here, and it's not actually out of service. Whoops. I pushed the buttons, but nothing happens. Gotcha. Oh, my... Yep. I wonder how many toilets I get to stick my hand in this time. Uh... Nope, never mind, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work either. What about this one, though? Yeah, I haven't tried this door. And of course it opens. Wait, wait. This part doesn't have a halt. You son of a gun! Stay dead. Oh my gosh, supplies. Hi. Wait, hold on. Plunger card. Handgun bullets. Rifle shells. Where is... There we go. More handgun bullets. DP for his bungalow. Oh boy. That probably won't work. Was there something there? No. So, empty cardboard boxes, that door doesn't open. Wait. Oh. Okay, so this is a door. Got it, okay. It didn't look like it was interactable, though. See? Can't really do anything with it. Alright. So, besides the lobby, I only have one area left on the first floor to look at. Does this work? Nope! Okay, so that entire wing of the hotel is off-limits. So then, what if I can go in here? Okay. Oh, save point. Yes, please. some souvenirs? Well, too bad. Oh, I can open this door. Okay, so there's a key. Oh, well, now I can get the room key. Nothing particularly useful. What about... Ah. Now, what about here? Oh. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else. And that's just the lobby on the other end. Okay. This door would probably also work. I'm gonna save again because I'm paranoid. I don't think this door will work. Ah, because that's the exit. Got it. And looky here. So there are rectangular indentations. Uh, there's a plate in front of the indentation and something is uh, engraved on it. Even so, I still want to believe that she was happy. Play the music box? Yes? Doesn't sound quite right. 
Is the music box broken or maybe it's just missing stuff? Like, for instance, this little mermaid. I put the little mer uh little mermaid music box in. Play it. Doesn't quite sound right. So, there are more pieces to it that we gotta figure out. Alright. Um, do I wanna go downstairs or upstairs? I kinda wanna go downstairs. And so I'm going to. Down we go! Alright. I'd love it when the silent. You. Yeah, that's right. Like, even on the beginner difficulty, those mannequins are still horrifying. Painting is hanging here, nothing unusual about it. Can't open. Oh, the bathrooms, okay. No bathrooms for James. Just a pause. Oh, and it's an open elevator. Now, what is this? Venus Tears. Hmm. So what is this? Oh no, that's the main room, and that's a fish key. Okay, so I don't have a key to open that. It's a trap. <laughs> what are you, Admiral Akbar? Oh, no. Yeah, there's something in there. I don't want to do that yet. Nope. Nope, we're not doing that yet. Let's go back up. I'm on to your games, game. Okay. Back in here. Let's see how far we can go up the stairs. So we have three doors. Uh, no, that's just a painting. Oh, I can go in. How much you want to bet something's going to pop out at me in that little puppet box area? Oop, hold on. Even if I ring it, I don't think anybody would come. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. Bathrooms are still busted. What about this one? Crap. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, okay, you're killable. That's right, and I power strut past him. What floor am I on? Okay, so I definitely am on the second floor. That's good. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh. All right, so we got another locked door. What about you? So you're important. You're not. This one's okay. What about this? And you? And you? Hmm. Huh. 
interesting. So we got a couple rooms on there that require keys. Uh, those bathroom doors are busted. Lounge, reading room, etc., etc. Let's try these. Crap. What are you looking at, man? Okay, I don't think there's enough room for a mannequin, so I'm not going to freak out. Oh my gosh, look at all those bullets. Handgun bullets. What is this? Briefcase. The bag is locked. Alright. Hold on. Oh, it's just a phone. I don't think the fish key is going to work here, but I can always try it. Never mind. It worked. I don't know why it did. So now I can go to room 204. Why the fish key, though? Like, how would you associate a fish with a briefcase? I didn't see any, like, fish drawings on the briefcase. That's weird. Hmm. I guess there's nothing else here. Uh, right, so let's get out of this room, go to the opposite door, never mind, opposite door is broken. I'm looking at something, what am I looking at? Oh, bullets. Oh, uh-oh, this room opens. Yes, I see the items. Um, but is there a monster in here? Please... Okay. Health drink. Um, there's a book open on the top of the chest. It looks like a medical book. Well, I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. Oh. What about this book here? It doesn't look like it would be of any particular use. Alright, so those aren't either. Okay, I can't interact with that. I'm not interested in any of them right now. What's on... What am I looking at? Oh! Shotgun shells. I guess there aren't any little Easter eggs in here either, so out we go. I guess we'll go to room 204 since we got the key. Hiya! Wait. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Still quiet, that's good. Okay, right here. And it's dark, it's quiet, I don't want to be here anymore. Why can't you show me where I am? There's something on this table. Never mind, there's nothing on this table. Is there, is it something on the bed? Oh. Right. Whoa, that, that wall is busted. Awesome! What about this door? If it's even interactable. 
Apparently not. Okay, but at least we can get into room 202 without the need of a key, because we can just stroll right in. Old-fashioned suitcase. <laughs> Merp. I don't remember getting information telling how to open a suitcase. Photos are scattered all, scattered all over the bed. What's this? Part of the photo has been colored over with marker. Hmm. That's interesting. Is that the only interactable photo? Apparently. Do I have anything like ink remover in my inventory? Elevator key, 312 key. No. Memos. There's one. Blood soaked newspaper, painting, painting, legend of the lake, painting, waterfront landscape, the key is in the park, letter and a wrench, I took the director's key. Okay, so going down is further in time. Corpse one, two, three, four, five, six. Map found in bar. Newspaper from shop window. Uh, words written on the wall. Oh, that's lovely. Wall scratches. Three needles stand of three different heights. Article about murder incidents. Sightseeing brochure. Wallet and toilet bowl. First lies the seat of he. Patient record. Doctor's journal. Whiteboard graffiti. On carbon paper, term to be she's an angel. Huh. Okay, then I have more exploring to do to find out what the password to open that briefcase is. All right. I haven't even looked at the other wing, so let's do that. Okay. Just a staircase, so let's see if I can go in here. Oh no, this is just... Okay, so I'm back at the main lobby. Why don't I hear any monsters? I don't like that. Okay. P pick up the health... Please! Pick up the health drink! Thank you. I really... Oh, rifle shells. Nice. Okay. Elevator... Still doesn't work. But we have a key for another elevator. And... Anyone here? No. I wonder if this door works. Nope, it's just a pretty door. Okay, and that one doesn't work. Apparently there's a door to my left. Oh, right here. Wait, that means that's an elevator, doesn't it? I do not want to go in that elevator. I do not, I do not, I do not. Health rank, health rank. What else is here? Wait, hold on. No, just empty boxes. What is this? 
Uh, memos hanging here, but nothing interesting is written. Anything here? Nope. <laughs> I will definitely save. Employee regulations are posted here. They've got nothing to do with me. Okay, but I'm not going in that elevator just yet. Hey. Alright, if this door doesn't work, then I understand. Yep. Okay. One more door to try, and that's this one. Never mind, doesn't work. Alright, now, instead of going up the stairs, I want to go down. So, let's see if I can access something on the first floor that I couldn't before. No, I've already been here. Never mind. Well, back up we go. And also, up to the third floor. Nope. That would be right here. There we go. Ah, uh, so this is what keeps us from going further. Got it. Okay. Whoa, I heard Mary. Oh, and she's right in front of our faces. Huh. Okay, we're gonna go do the elevator. Even though I don't want to. Where is the employee elevator anyway? I don't I don't even remember. <laughs> it's probably at this room that I'm looking at right now with a save point, so let's turn around. I am not going in that trap elevator. At least not yet. Okay, so then... Employee elevator, I think, is here? Yes, so we'll save one more time. Uh, and let's see what happens. Why is it so loud? Shut, shut. Shut. Alright, I won't go there. We're already here. It's not gonna take us to three. So. Oh. I guess, I guess... Wait, what? Oh! Oh, there's something written over the button. What's this? Wait a moment, it's one person. Yep. So where's the locker that we can stash our stuff? I could store my stuff here. Put the items on the shelf? Yes. I don't wanna, but we'll do it. Okay, it's not screaming now. 
I do not like this next part of the game. I do not like it. I don't like it at all. This next part is just mean. Alright, is this some place that I already know? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so I'm on the other side. Uh, I never tried this door? What? Well, of course it's broken. Because that would make it too easy! Oh, I don't like that light. No, thank you. the exit. Nope. Oh. Potatoes and onions. Some rotten fruit. Ah, okay. A music box. Perfect. Team bags. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the only thing I can get there. Gosh, that's not ominous. Um... Uh, let's keep exploring, shall we? gonna trigger anything there. Not until I'm done looking. What do I see here? Can opener. need a can opener. Hmm. Okay, locks busted. Nothing else of interest. <laughs> I I really don't need to see James's sex tape. I really don't. from one year ago. Okay, so I see something. Oh. Rifle shells. Uh, that's nice. If I had my rifle right now... Uh... I guess that's all this was. Just rifle ammo. Huh. Oh, 
Although, now that I'm carrying all this stuff, am I going to be able to ride the elevator back up? Just broken the cap of it. Okay. And this door? No. Dang it. So then that red light place was like one of the few places where I could actually see. Okay, and that's a stairwell. I bet you if I walk back onto the elevator, I'm not going to be able to go back up. Oh. Okay, apparently I can. Uh. Wait. Wait, why aren't you working, dude? Elevator. Elevator. Okay, now it's busted. That's great. Perfect! And no save point either. This is just... N oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Time to run like a scared little kid. And... Okay, nothing in this stairwell. I just don't want to. Come on. Is that- Ah! Yeah! Get out of the way! Oh! Oh lord! She's not getting out of the way! She's not getting out of the way! Woohoo! Mmm! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want it. Okay, and you don't work. Uh... What about you? Ah, gosh! Oh! Oof! Oh, that doesn't feel good. Okay, so I got some health drinks. No, I didn't want to open that door. You put me back in there. Got the other health drink. What am I looking at? Oh! Good thing I brought a handy can opener! Alright, so I got a light bulb. Where would they put cans of a light bulb? Why would they put light bulbs in a can? That's how sentences work. Also, that was Heaven's Night Bar. Um. Why are we now in Heaven Night's Bar? A jukebox. Doesn't seem to play. Wait, what's this? Lamp on a counter. And it needs a light bulb. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not done with the hallway. Also, spoilers! Stop it! Do I have a map of this area? Oh, nope, this isn't heaven. No, this is just the bar. Okay. Am I in the basement? And it's still locked. Okay, dude, I I appreciate the help, but like, <laughs> let me play the game for crying out loud. Okay. So, why did the lamp?
But why did it light that up? It it's okay. Just <laughs> let me play the freaking game. <laughs> and I'm crying. Oh, and I don't want to go back out there. I ugh. Okay, so out the hall, take a left, and then take a right. Mm. What's up, lady? Let's dance. <laughs> Look, get get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Why are you in this hallway? Okay, let's just try this door. Oh, help! Ooh. Is there anything about the generate? Yep. Ah. Here we are. Good, good, good. Okay, so that was literally everything. Okay. Cool. Mm, mm, nope. I'll see ya. Thanks for playing. Uh. Never mind, I got turned around. Oh, it, the torch right there. Okay, and now we can open the bar door. What's with this creepy camera angle? Okay, well, we're back in the basement. Now we can we we can use the creepy elevator. Good stuff. Can of th ah, and now we can remove the paint. Okay, I can't use the elevator, but that's okay, because we're back where we need to be to use stairs. Awesome. It's too dark to read the map. Okay, I get it, I get it. Whew. What are you? Now I'm under lights, so I can read the map. Ah, I'm on the f uh, I'm on the first floor. Very good. Okay. Let's just open this door just so that I can turn it up on the map. And how many things are there? It's because I'm facing the wrong way. Yep, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Okay, what if I stand here? Looks like something might be written on the front, but it's too dark to tell. Okay. Okay, so let's try this. Never mind. It's not going to let me put anything in it yet. Ah. A second floor, here we come. And I think it's this way. Oh well, I can use the acetone to uh, read the picture. Here we are. Okay. Here it 
is. Paint thinner. Yes, you can. Okay, where's the photo? It's not going to let me interact with the photo because it's too dark. Gotcha. I thought I could just skip a step. I was wrong. Uh. No, no, no. They're going to be so sorry when I come back. Oh, bless you. Now time to be Rambo again. Okay, where are you? What? Wait, did they seriously just disappear? That's not fair. <laughs> Now that I get a weapon, they run. Oh, okay. Walk and along. Okay. Really quiet. Now it should let me pick up the picture, and then I can use the thinner. Yep, so I see that. So now I can use the thinner. Come here. Town! Now that I see it, it's actually very obvious. Right. Merp. Oh, uh, gosh! Oh, okay, it's not the entire alphabet. Thank goodness. Town? Perfect. The last music box. Absolutely magnificent. And through this door. Down this way. And I just want to consult the map one more time to make sure that I'm not missing anything. and then put them in? Okay. Place it. Don't Cinderella. No, don't play it yet. I don't want to hear creepy crap.
stairwell was right here. Cool. And now we can open it. Looking down just to make sure that I'm not going to miss anything. I'm pretty sure the only door that's going to open is 312. Okay. Good and locked. What else is here? Yeah, door 312. That's all there is. Okay, before we go in, I need to use the restroom one more time, so one second.
forgive you for what you that wasn't Mary. I want you with me. I have you. See that town. Hi. Sorry, I had to use the bathroom. Uh, but I'm back. Also, what's... Uh... What's poggers? What happened? Did something good happen or something bad happen? I don't know. Um, we're going to go ahead and just watch the videotape. Let, let's do that. Can I open this door? Nah. Oh. No, I don't want to look at the TV yet. Okay, I'll look at the TV now. Television here. Even when it's plugged in, all I get is snow. So there's the videotape you forgot in the hotel three years ago. I thought I picked up a, ho a videotape earlier, but. What? Oh, because the VCR is right next to it. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. 
So there you are, James. Did you get the letter? Did you find Mary? If not, let's get going already, okay? Laura. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar, that's a lie! No, that's not true. She... she died because she was sick? No. No. I killed her. Sorry. The Mary you know isn't here. Voice. So to answer your question, no. That's a core part of the game. James murdered his wife. He just blocked it from his mind. That's why he's walking around thinking that she still might be alive. Because he couldn't handle the fact that he killed her. Uh, let's take a look at this. The blade is stained with something red. Is it? Uh, yeah. Uh. There's nothing in the ump. What? Where did that letter go? Cool. Wait, is there a safe point in here? is a lot different now. Ooh, this is ominous. Nope. What about this door? 
Oh, it's a save point. <laughs> Very good. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Uh. Hopefully not. No. It doesn't. It like it doesn't say that I dropped any frames. I don't think so. Oh, what the heck. Oh, nope, there it goes. Wait. Oh, no. No, what the... Uh, yep. Yep. Internet decided to die. Or at least become super unstable. Well... it here. I wish. <laughs> 